Has that been a minute? Next up, we have Marianne Adams. The title of her speech is Dream the Impossible Dream. So that's Dream the Impossible Dream, Marianne Adams. I woke up this morning and could not even talk. My voice was scratchy, and I thought, I need to cancel. I need to get out of here. But all of a sudden, I remembered this dream that I had, this dream that changed my life. I was sitting in this boat, a marvelous boat, enjoying the sunlight, enjoying the ocean that I was on, and thinking, life is so good. This is fantastic. When I heard this voice say, Marianne, stand up. Dream the impossible dream. Walk on water. No way! <laughs> I'm loving my life. I'm loving the boat that I'm in. There is no way I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. And I said, I remember doing this before. When I was young, I had this impossible dream. Perhaps when you were young, you had the, the dream of your life. What are you going to do when you grow up? I had this dream of getting married and having children and just loving my life with them. So I jumped in the water. I met this wonderful guy. I was so madly in love. I thought, oh, this cute little red-headed guy, it, we're gonna have this impossible dream. And then the storms came and the boat rocked. And I thought, what's happening? Uh, pretty soon the boat toppled over. And I said, what's going on? And there I was in the hospital ready to have this baby. <laughs> I'm in labor, and I'm thinking, help me. And this cute little guy beside me said, I'll be right back. There's something I have to do. I'll be right back. I'm saying, help me, help me. And he was gone. And I had this baby all by myself. <laughs> Later, I found out what happened to my impossible dream. This guy was off to do a drug deal. You've got to be kidding. I didn't know about this life. What is this? The boat toppled over, and I was in the middle of the ocean, and I was eaten up by the sharks. And along came this other person said, I'll be your hero. OK, I'm drowning. Help me. And so I get married, thinking this will be it. I will be just perfectly fine now. And the storms came. The sharks came. The sea monsters came. And all of a sudden, my life was back again, back into the ocean, when this man was sent to prison for doing things should not be done to little girls. Dreams. And this voice said, Marianne, stand up. Dream the impossible dream. Walk on water. Oh, fine. So I held on to the edge of the boat and I stuck my toe into the water. I said, I'm going to drown. I didn't know I'm going to drown. But again, dream the impossible dream. Walk on water. Okay, and I'm holding tightly with all my life, thinking, okay, I'm going to step my other toe into the water. And I'm holding on. And I'm saying, why am I leaving this boat? Don't you remember? Don't you remember? You created a brand new, beautiful boat. This time, you transformed your own life. You became your own hero. And you became the person you've always wanted to be with this nice boat 
and you attracted this man of your dreams, and you are living the wonderful life you always wanted to live. Why am I getting into this ocean? And I would rather sit in this nice, comfortable boat and bask in the sunlight. I would rather just be in my comfort zone, live this life, and be happy in the middle of the ocean, drifting along. Marianne, stand, dream the impossible dream, walk on water. So there I am remembering, saying, okay, and I have this foot into the water, and I reach over, and I lift this toe, and I'm hanging on for dear life. And you wouldn't believe what happened next. Something that made me laugh and smile. Because here I am, hanging on, and I'm saying, okay, then try to dream the impossible dream. And I let go, just like that, that whole ocean turned to ice. Ice. I was walking on water. I couldn't believe it. Solid, ice, water. I invite you to get out of your comfort zone. Stand up, dream the impossible dream, and walk on water. You never know what's going to happen when it is solid, ice, water. Dream the impossible dream. Thank you.